YouTube, according to the chat, we went 11 and 0. It went off the screen. Look at all these wins. Free to play, budget Luna Light deck. Let's go. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. This plate is a one-of-a-kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. You can customize, collect, and rearrange them at will. It only takes 20 seconds to set them up with no power tools, no damage, and no frustrations. There are over 1.4 million designs for you to choose from, and Display is an official partner with Marvel, DC, Star Wars, The Witcher, and more. You can use my link in the description below for a discount for up to 25% off. And their Black Friday sale is live now. You could get up to 41% off using the code black. Displate also plants a tree for every Displate sold. They have already planted 12 million. Shipping is worldwide. You can get yours delivered within a week to the US and most of Europe. What are you waiting for? Use my link to get your Displates today. That's right. We went 10, 11, or 12 in O. The wins were off the screen, so I don't know exactly. We did at least go 10 in O. This is free to play slash budget now my free to play definition is it does not require more than two super rares from a main box yet we have martin being played at three well you could play the deck at two if you want that's why it will be called budget and i did demonstrate on stream if you go to the pack opening simulator on the website open up some packs rip them open you could open 10 at a time without animation it was less than 9,000 gems with us resetting the box after pulling a Martin. Great impact, which is actually good right now. Oh my Jesus. So you could see how close you are to building this with whatever amount of gems you have. So test it out yourself. But this deck is nuts. It's Luna Light. We're playing Destiny Draw. I also highly recommend if you have True Nade, play True Nade because True Nade, you're going to search it with your Destiny Draw and then you're going to win. This deck is all about just sitting on a Saber Dancer, which is going to be untargetable and huge until you go in for lethal. It is not safe to have an attack position monster against this deck because you will also, instead of the Saber Dancer being super thick and untargetable, which this is nearly an instant win versus so many decks already, you could make a Cat Dancer. Cat Dancer is how you're gonna make your lethal plays if they have an attack position monster. If they have any monster from the extra deck, you're going to use your Lunalite Fusion to summon this, using your deck to help assist in the fusion, sending at least a fox to reduce their monster to zero attack, and then with another Lunalite on the field with the Cat Dancer, you tribute it. This performs a double attack, and onto the zero monster, it will not destroy it by battle in the first attack. That's part of the effect. It will also deal 100 on every attack, so that's 5,000 damage after foxing something to zero. And we are super protective with the Temperance and the Karibo. Play Sphere Karibo if you have it over the Temperance or the Karibo. Otherwise, this is great for negating damage at damage calculation. And it's good for playing around your Destiny draw. You have to have 2,000 damage dealt to you to activate this, search your deck for anything. This is a deck I would give to a brand new player. If I'm introducing someone to the game, this is the deck I'd give them, straight up. This is super accessible, super easy to play, super free to play and or budget. Let's do a quick little sample play. For example, we're gonna have an Emerald Bird and a Martin. All of the Luna Lights, if sent to the graveyard by a card effect, will activate and do something, most of them. So if we summon the Emerald Bird, it has another effect. Its second effect is if summoned, you could send a Luna Light from your hand to the graveyard to draw a card. So we send the Martin, we draw a card. Hey, Kribo. Now the Martin being sent to the graveyard by a card effect will activate searching for a Luna Light Fusion. Very nice. Now the Martin's second effect is you could return a Luna Light on the field back to the hand to summon onto the field. So now you could Luna Light Fusion into your Cat Dancer, which cannot be destroyed by battle. Now, what if your opponent has an extra deck monster on the field? So a very popular extra deck monster could be something like a Samurai Destroyer. 
Now, your other effect of Luna Light will work because of that. If they have an extra deck monster on the field, you can now use your deck to help assist in the fusion. And you likely want to send a fox because when sent to the graveyard, you'll reduce them to zero. You could send the bird, fox, and Martin. Now you could make a Saber Dancer, which will gain 200 attack for each Beast Warrior that is banished in either player's graveyards or in the grave or banished. You gain 200 each. That is nuts. And besides her being amazing and untargetable, this could instead set up for a Cat Dancer lethal, as this will trigger the second and third effect, second effect of the Emerald Bird to summon a monster onto the field. Then you could use the Cat Dancer to tribute that monster to perform the double attacks onto the monster you reduced to zero. That is insane. Also, Luna Light Crimson Fox, you could banish it to negate something like a Fiendish Chain. So they activate Fiendish Chain onto your Cat Dancer. This will negate it. They will gain 1,000 life, you will also. But after reducing them to zero and boosting them to 5,000, you're going to deal 5,000 damage with double 24, double 100 damage per attack. That is insane. So we have an untargetable monster. Can't be destroyed by battle monster that could double attack and win you games, reduce monsters to zero. You could search for the fusion, you could draw cards, you could negate damage, and then use your destiny draw. What else does the deck do? That's right, there's more. We have the final card, which is the Lunalite White Rabbit. This on summon will target a Lunalite in the graveyard special summon it, and then you could return back row cards equal to the other Lunalites you control. So this will deal with back row. If you have two other Luna Lights, return two back row back to the hand. This deck is simple. It gets the job done. Return the back row, reduce, draw, search, negate damage, untargetable, can't be destroyed by battle. If you have room, you could play a Diamond Dire Wolf. A really good play with the Diamond Dire Wolf could be if you have a White Rabbit, you could summon, special summon, a Luna Light from the graveyard. It has to be level 4-1 if you want to do the combo. And then with the Martin from the hand or in the graveyard, you could return the White Rabbit back to the hand. Then with the Martin and the level 4, after returning a back row, you can make a Diamond Dire, pop another back row or a card in the field, then follow up with a Luna Light Fusion. This is free to play slash budget, super new player friendly, free to play friendly deck. Loving it. Let's go. I special summon a monster. I activate Dark Illusion. Eye of Timaeus. Here I go. I fusion summon a monster. 3000 attack, boy. Let's battle. Playtime is over. My monster Take it. Like now I'm going to teach you all about chain link blockage. Deidre. Actually, we should be good with the Temperance. His back row is not activatable. Let me set this. His back row is now activatable, so I believe it is a Cosmic Cyclone. So we have no fear, for we will chain link block the Dark Cavalry from negating our Fox. And there's only one way to do this properly, and that is... Could even summon the Dancer because he's at 3k. We're going to put him to zero. We're going to put him to zero. Zero. You send the Fox first, okay? The Fox will be the first card you send. Then you chain Link to with any other card. It could be a bird. It could be a rabbit. Not the rabbit. Well, actually, let's send a Martin. Let's send a Martin. So we're going to do this. Do this. Martin Rabbit. Send the chain link order correctly so he could not block it. He can we are blocking it. Target a monster that negates targeting. Martin chain link block the targets. If you send this in the wrong order, then you're gonna lose. Now you don't lose. We chain link blocked. Reduced to zero. GG! Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Is this another 
potential free win, we can allow a very simple D droll. Just set the Marian, we'll set the Marian. Now, his deck actually has an out to our deck. Unlike this other Blue Eyes deck, which had no out besides the Mausoleum but boost, his out is a twin burst dragon. Banish the opposing monster, and this monster cannot be destroyed by battle. So it will swing in, not destroy itself, then banish our monster. So we're going to have to play a little bit differently. My turn. I draw a card. Luna Light Fusion. Let's summon a Luna Light. Luna Light, Luna Light, Luna, Luna Light. We're going to return that back row back to the hand. And depending on what he does, whoa, Karma Cuts will win the duel. Looks like we win the duel. Let's get winning. Flame on. Send it, send it, send it, send it, send it. Send the fools back to Fortnite. Let's go. Martin. <laughs> Everybody surrendering against us and we are free. What were we about to do if he wasn't a little baby loser that ran off the Fortnite? We were going to tribute off our monster, perform double attack onto the zero attack, not destroyed by battle on the first attack, dealing 5,000 Damage, but DK, your monster's only 2400 attack. You are right. But on each and every attack, which we could do onto each and every monster in the field, we inflict 100 damage on that attack. So you attack for 25, then attack for 25. GG, no re. We are free. Check her out. Sinful Joe Star Gia. She streams every Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday at 1 p.m. EST. She even streamed today. That was a fun time. She's streaming. She's doing so well. She also got her YouTube channel. X Mace Mark's sister does not link to her YouTube channel. Gia, whenever you're biz not busy, change X Mace Mark's sister to include your YouTube channel. Let's go. Dragoonity with you say. What could that be? What is that back row? We're gonna make a read on the back row, okay? Have I played Exceed Magnets? I have not. Yet. Maybe. I should be saying yet. Maybe that's what we will be playing. Check the back row. We could check if it's a Lance or a Cosmic. So that tells me it's very likely a Cosmic Cyclone. So I'm going to tell you a little trick. I'm going to set this, and when the Hourglass turns on, that's going to reveal that he's playing Cosmic Cyclone. What could that back row be, then? I use my face down card. I activate a spell. I'm going to go for a Cat Dancer. We could just win with the Cat Dancer, though. Let's just win with the Cat Dancer. Send the fox. Send the white rabbit. I'm counting on you. I fusion summon a monster. Let's go, let's go. Fox, get reduced. Now his back is activatable. Looks like it's a floodgate. I knew Ouch. Youch. Ouchie. People are not really playing that, but that's okay. My turn. Focus, focus, focus. Wow, you're sneaking a floodgate in your deck. Sneaking a floodgate in your deck. You dirty. Dirty. I activate my monster's effect. I know what to do. I special summon a monster. I'm telling you. He's wondering why I'm not scooping. He can't believe it. 
My monster attacks you directly. Take it. This Negate it. Your attacks will never reach me. Let's see what you can do. I refuse to lose. T troll. Do we win? Do we have enough to just win? I think we're over 4,000 on this attack. I believe we're over 4,000 on this attack. I believe so. I think so. Give me the fox. Give me the fox. Give me the lethal. Give me the lethal. Using the deck. That's right. Let's go. How big? How big? 4,200 attack. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna reduce. I'm gonna put you to zero, then attack for game. We are free. You are not. You're shackled by your mother's credit card. We are free.